New at six, Biscayne Bay is one of Miami-Dade County's most significant natural resources. And tonight, local leaders are hosting the 2024 Biscayne Bay Marine Health Summit to find ways to improve and protect its health. CBS News Miami's Joe Gordcho takes us to Jungle Island, where the summit wrapped up just minutes ago. Just this. The serenity. Arian cherishes the tranquility of Biscayne Bay shoreline and spends her free time there, even during work, as a boat tour guide. Progressively, it's gotten a lot worse. She's talking about trash in the bay. Just accumulated. It's pretty gross. You know, people don't clean up after themselves. I, you know, you see it everywhere. I began to walk the shoreline and keep this game by the bay, and it seemed like every few feet, if I looked down, I would see debris trapped in the seaweed, a beer bottle, a plastic cup, and all sorts of trash. And everyone is impacted and touched by the bay. It is beneficial to our Biscayne Aquifer, which provides drinking water to the entire southern Florida. Lauren Parra is Miami-Dade County's Chief Bay Water and Resources Officer. She spoke at the Biscayne Bay Marine Health Coalition at Jungle Island Monday, a summit to share ideas to protect and restore the bay. She says the county's pouring in over $1 billion into infrastructure to stop water pollution. Working with residents and cities and municipalities to upgrade our uh, aging sewer infrastructure. Miami-Dade County Commissioner Raquel Regalado also spoke at the summit and she told the audience the top two causes of water pollution, agricultural runoff and faulty septic tanks. We know that there's a bunch of different issues that we need to address. Nutrient loading, um, trash accumulation on um, in our bay and seagrass die off, habitat health. Elisa Kareem works with the Miami Water Waterkeeper. Over the years, the organization says it has collected thousands of pounds of trash from beaches, bays, rivers, and coastal areas in Florida, including close to 7,000 in 2023. Less than two weeks ago, the organization found dead fish and trash floating in a canal in Coral Gables, which feeds into Biscayne Bay. The status quo remains the same. What happens? We're going to continue to see the degradation of the bay, unfortunately. The, the bay is going to potentially give us more algal blooms, more fish kills. The more pollution that goes out into the bay, the less able it is to recover. And so one Miamian keeps the message straightforward. Pick up your stuff. It's simple. And protect our bay. Joe Gorcho, CBS News Miami.